All right, so here we're going to start with a new video on geometric sequences, which is 11.3, and we have a guest writer uh, helper today in Amanda Blusso, and Brian Joseph is also in the room. Say hi, Brian. Hi, everybody. All right, so uh, Brian didn't want to volunteer. He's too busy playing words with friends tiny on his, uh, what? Tiny wings. Tiny wings, and uh, Amanda's going to write, even though she's got a broken finger from lacrosse, but uh, we're going to go through these and... Really, geometric sequences is a lot like arithmetic sequences. Um, arithmetic sequences is when you add a number each time. We call that the common difference, and that's why it's uh, D. And so we um, add D to an initial number each time. Geometric sequences is when we multiply by a number R, or the common ratio. And so you can see here we got the two definitions, so that's good. And then basically right here, is our formula for geometric sequences. So a sub n equals a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. It's kind of like an exponential function, um, but we're going to use that formula as we go through there, where r is a common ratio, a sub 1 is the first term, and n is the nth term, or um, the term number. And so we're going to do three examples here, and Amanda's going to go through and write. And so the first example says, find the first four terms of the nth term and the nth term of the geometric sequence with a sub 1 equals 2. And so if a sub 1 equals 2 and r equals 3, the first term is going to be what? The first term is going to be 2. Very good, Amanda. So a sub 1 equals 2. All right. And then to find the second term, we're going to take the first term and multiply it by 3. So the second term is going to be? Yep, 2 times 3, which is 6. So a sub 2 equals 6. Okay, I was hoping for 2 times 3 equals 6, but that's okay. The third term is going to be the second term times 3. So a sub 3 is going to be 6 times 3, which is 18. Very good. And then the fourth term is going to be a sub 4 equals 18 times 3 which is 54. Now you could have also used the formula that we have up here if you wanted to and plug them in. So let's just do that for like the second and third term. So write a sub 2, just over here on the, on the right there, a sub 2 equals, now the first term is 2, so write 2 times 3, because that's our common ratio, raised to the 2 minus 1. Close the parentheses, yeah. There you go. Good. Okay, 2 minus 1 is 1, and so that's 3 to the first. So 2 times 3 to the first, which is 6. Very good. And do the same thing for the third one. So a sub 3 is going to be 2, no, 2, because that's the first term. 2 times 3 to the 3 minus 1. There you go. And that's going to be 2 times 3 squared. And that's 2 times 9, which is 18. Good. So for the nth term, which is the last part for this example that we got to do, we have to just write it in terms of n. So write a sub n equals, and then what's the first term? 2, two times 3 to the n minus 1. Very good. Now she's starting to talk a little bit, so we're okay. All right. Example 1b. If your hand's hurting, just let me know. <laughs> Find the nth term of the geometric sequence, 2, 8, 32, 128. So first thing, let's write down what the first term is. So what's a sub 1? 2. So write down a sub 1 equals 2. Second thing is, what's the common ratio? What are we multiplying by each time? to get the next term. So 2 times what is 8? 4. So r equals 4. And we can check that by saying 4 times 8 is 32. 32 times 4 is 128. Or if we didn't know, we can just take 32 divided by 8, and that would be 4. And that's how we find the common ratio. This is the ratio. All right. So now we want to find the nth term. Well, if I know the first term is 2 and the ratio is 4, how are you going to find a sub n? Just writing a for, uh, general formula. What is 4? Yep. 
So we're going to use a sub n equals 2, two times 4, times four two, two minus one. just n minus 1 because we don't know what n is. And she got that by writing or filling in a sub n equals a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1, which is from our formula right here, which is very important that we know that. Okay? So there's two examples, 1a and 1b. And then we have one last example. And then we'll be done. Example 2 says find the eighth term of the geometric sequence 7, 42, 252. So what's the first term? 7. So write that down. Yep. What's the common ratio? What do we multiply by to get the next term? 6. So 7 times 6 is 42, so the common ratio is 6. And we want to find a sub 8. So put a sub 8 equals question mark. That's what we're trying to figure out. So now, to find a sub 8, we're going to write a sub 1. So a sub 8 equals, no, a sub 8 equals, a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. And we know that since it's a sub 8, we can say equals, right below it. What's the first term? 7. Seven. What's r? 6, what's n? 8. Eight. And so we say 7 times 6 to the 7th. And if I just type that in, 7, 6 to the 7th, you get 1, 9, 5, 9, 5, 5, 2. And so that is 1,959,552. And so that is the eighth term of that geometric sequence. So there's uh, three example problems that we did. And I want to thank Amanda for helping out. Brian for throwing in his two cents and uh, playing angry wings or flying birds or something <laughs> like that. And uh, enjoy. Bye.